King Mahaka Sulali has lived a long life, but his time has finally come. Oh, crap. Oh, Princess Lilana has proven herself. Oh, my God. Oh, the crown is passed down. Oh, this is cool. Oh, my God. I feel like I'm way more excited than I should be right now. my little rainbows. So no intro today. I did my community post and asked you guys to vote and let me know what you guys thought on if we should keep doing short scenes or not. And the majority of people, yes, did like them and want me to put them in as many videos as possible, which I appreciate because that means that you guys like them a lot. But there were still several hundred who said only do it every once in a while. And I know we can't make everyone happy, but I'm going to try to come up with a compromise. So I will do a few videos without it and a few videos with it. Probably the videos and episodes that are more dramatic will have the short scenes before them. I also will try to shorten them a little bit. I don't want to rush things though. That's the only thing. I just love storytelling so much and I love the details with everything as well. But usually they're between two to three minutes. So I'll try to aim it more towards the two minute range. But I just wanted to say that. But thank you guys for letting me know what you think about that. So for this episode, I was thinking like, okay, we need a little bit of a happier episode but I don't actually know if this is going to be a happy episode because I was realizing that one, King Mahaka, he is like at the very end of his life, which it says, but then also his mother is still alive. So I don't know why she's still alive or how she's still alive or like what, I don't, I don't think mermaids are immortal at all, at least not in the Sims game anyway. But to be honest, I think that King Mahaka should have also passed away a long time ago. So I don't know if our royal family of Sulani, if they just live a long time. So yeah, I was planning on just doing like a little bit of overview on things and keeping you guys updated on some stuff. But I also wanted to hang out here with the Sulani royal family in case King Mahaka suddenly dies. But I still don't understand how her mother is still, or how his mother is still alive. I kind of wanted to move in Leilana's grandmother, King Mahaka's mother, in with the family, but I'm wondering if they're more likely to die if they are not in the family you're playing, which probably doesn't make much sense, but I feel like that's the case. Anyway, I thought we could use a little bit less of a dramatic episode. I know you guys love the drama and we'll still keep up and I'll give you guys updates on the drama, but I feel like I've just been like, lighting fires of drama everywhere and just like letting them burn. First we had Empress Maylin's having an affair and then Queen Nea gets kidnapped and then Prince Jabari's ex is back and all over him. I realized that I do just kind of like throw some plots at you guys and then just like come back to it later. But I kind of feel like that gives me a chance to make sure that it's really good and dramatic when I come back to it later. I left the whole thing about Queen Nea for a really long time, I think like several episodes before I came back to it later. And I thought it was pretty dramatic when it came back. Speaking of, they still have not found Charlotte and Harmony yet. So they're still on the run or they're, yeah, they're, Harmony and Charlotte are still on the run from everybody. Of course, King Mahaka is still pretty angry with Prince Dean, as I mentioned in the last episode. Everyone else has forgiven Dean, but King Mahaka has not quite yet, mostly because he put his kingdom and his daughter and his grandchildren in danger. So that's why King Mahaka is very unhappy. So Dean's just trying to patch things up as much as he can while I guess King Mahaka is still around. I did see some comments in the last video or the one before that about getting all the kids and like who they would be good with, seeing who they would be good with. I don't know if you guys remember, but I did have a few episodes ago where I tested out the first crush mod. But Princess Samaria, she was actually, she had a crush on Prince Adric of Selva Dorada, but I just looked because I was looking at their relationship. Prince Adric aged up into a teenager and I had no idea. So I need to change his outfit and give him a makeup over and see what he looks like. I think I can already tell he kind of looks like King Cayman more than Queen Zamora, but I don't even think that Prince Makana and Princess Samaria are aging up for like a very long time. Yeah, they're only like 22 days out of 52 in their lifespan, in their kid's lifespan. So I don't know, I they, they got a while. I was kind of thinking maybe Princess Samaria, she could also have a crush on Cornelius. I know we haven't focused on the Willow Creek royal family in a while, so I will be sure to do that very soon. I feel I feel like Prince Cornelius has been causing even more trouble lately. I feel like Dowager Queen Cora. Oh my gosh, she's already like getting older and more stressed. I feel like her grandson is stressing her out a lot. And I feel like King Louis has been having to discipline Cornelius a lot too, just because he's such a troublemaker and he's getting older now and he's getting into his teens. So I'm interested to see what he's going to be like when he is a teenager. Oh, you know what I also can't wait for is Makata and Samaria to age up into teenagers so we can see them in their 
their mermaid form. I'm so excited. Well, it looks like Dean is still getting along with his mother-in-law, so that's good. Also, just a little bit of an update about Jabari and Amira, and then you guys really liked her, but of Zara as well. We will actually focus on them. I'm maybe in the next episode, but definitely the one after that, if not. Jabari still hasn't really talked to Amira much, and Amira is wondering what's going on. But someone pointed out Jabari should propose and they should get married before Henry passes away. And that actually makes me really sad that he's going to be passing away somewhat soon. I think we still have a while for him. I think we're okay. Mahaka is a lot older than King Henry is, so I don't think we have much to worry about. Oh, it looks like Princess Leilana. She is with her cousin Kona. Someone was asking how Makai is doing, and he's doing really good still. He's still the royal advisor for the Windenburg royal family, so he's very close with the family, and he's really good friends with Amira still. But I think he's accepted that she's with Jabari, so they're just friends, honestly, at the moment. He's doing fine. I feel like he's putting work first more than anything else. Oh my god, did Makana just go underwater to play with that toy? I guess he really is a mermaid. So we're having a kids club gathering, but something I just realized is that the kids of Oasis Springs are not here, which I think that they are still on their little retreat, but I was wondering, like, I thought that the kids would at least still show up, but I guess not. We do have our little kids club here. So this is Lady Ariana. This is Princess Belle and Prince Francisco's daughter. And then we also have Lady Rosalind here too. And this is Prince Michael of Oasis Springs. That's his daughter. I do still feel like Makana has a little bit of a crush on Bellatrix, but I want to see if he gets along with anybody else as well. I ended up doing a family gathering because I feel like we should at least have her grandmother here and her cousins. Although I realized that Makai is in the family, I named the club Ohana for their family. And I realized that Makai is in it, but then so is Makai's mother. Makai is all fancy pants, look at him. Oh my gosh, it's really dark so you can't really see. But it, look how fancy he looks. I Did I get rid of all of his Suwati clothing? Oh my God, I did. Oh, well, he's got a bathing suit. Oh no, okay, his cold weather outfit is still like a Sulani outfit. And he looks so cute. There's Makai. I feel like him him and Leilana are like basically they feel like they're brother and sister. They're cousins, but they're so close. So I feel like they feel like each other's brother and sister. And Leilana is so happy to see him. I feel like she doesn't get to see him as often because he doesn't live in Sulani anymore and because he's avoiding his mother. I feel like maybe his mother isn't here. Maybe she decided not to come. So that's why Makai decided to come. I don't know. Okay, so this is really cute. The entire family is all just sitting together and eating the food that Leilana made. I have not seen Makai. Kai's mother yet? Ooh, what are these spirits behind you? So this is Leilana's cousin, Keikoa. He is the youngest out of the cousins. He's still a teenager. I don't actually know where Leilana's grandmother is. I don't see her here. She's still alive, right? Should I double check? She is. She's still alive. Why aren't you here? King Mahaka Sulali has lived a long life, but his time has finally come. He's dying of old age. Oh, oh crap. Okay, well, I mean, I guess it would make sense though if, oh, oh, Princess Leilana has proven herself. Oh my God. Oh, the crown is passed down. Oh, this is cool. Oh my God. I feel like I'm way more excited than I should be right now. I'm not excited that King Mahaka has died. This is just the first time that I have seen the monarchy mod like pass down the trait of monarch, which is so cool. So it just happens immediately. Princess Leilana is now Queen Leilana and her father passed away. Oh. Oh, that's so sad, you guys. Oh, King Mahaka just passed away. But now Leilana is the freaking queen. We should probably do a funeral for Mahaka. But then I feel like that means because Makai, his mother, is King Mahaka's sister. So then she's going to be at the funeral. But the Makai is also going to be at the funeral. Also, Leilana seems a little bit too confident and not sad enough about her dad dying. Okay, no, just kidding. She has the mourning thing. But she is already like a confident person. And she's a confident ruler from being the monarch. That makes sense. Leilana is just like super chill, super confident. She's just like extremely comfortable with who she is and she owns it and it, she's just really awesome. I think she's going to make a great queen. I actually was going to have her implement the whole nobility thing. So I might just have her start doing that now. But I feel like we should wait a little bit, just like out of respect of her father. But also her father just died and her grandmother's still alive. Like I, I that has never happened to me before. Aw, uh, queen local lo Oh no, she's playing video games, but it says she's sad. Widow, loss of true love, loss in the family. Oh. All right, well, I know that they will be having their funeral. I don't know. Okay, we'll have some sort of 
like dinner celebration thing for Leilana to become the new queen or chief of Sulani. It's just like with the coronation ceremonies. Gosh, I wish there was an animation for coronation ceremonies. There's coronation packs, but technically it's just like a pageant queen getting crowned and it's a pose pack. It's not like an actual animation, but if they had an animation of someone crowning them, I would use that for all of my coronation ceremonies. But yeah, I would want to do that at some point. I think that's really cool. I do just want to do one more thing before we end this episode. I just want to have a Windenburg family dinner because I want Amira to try to talk to Jabari again to try to see if he is going to be receptive of like her questions and being like, what is going on? Because you've been acting weird for like the past few days and I just don't understand. So we'll see if he actually <laughs> responds to her. But we are really just inviting family to this dinner and then I'm going to have Amira separately invite Jabari. If you guys saw in my portraits pose video where I showed you guys how I do my royal family portraits. I did have Amira wear a dark purple color and that is because someone made a good point. Maybe she would start wearing a little bit like like still dark colors but not just black anymore just to kind of set a good example and just to show her kingdom that she can still stay positive and stuff even though obviously she still misses her sister May. So I think I am just going to have her start wearing just a little bit less black still some dark colors. So I did kind of think it was funny how many people really loved Zara in the last episode. I guess that makes sense. That girl is so confident, like it's crazy. Plus she's gorgeous too. All right, so Jabari is now here. It looks like the relationship had got, okay, never mind. It like went down for a little bit and I just feel like it's because he was being really distant and seems like he's very focused. So I feel like he's just got a lot on his mind right now. He's like focused on the whole thing with Zara and like what he should do and if he should tell Amira about it because Zara, she said that she still wanted to be friends, but Jabari said he would think about it. But I think he does need to talk to Amira about this. But yeah, maybe they should talk. All right, so Jabari and Amira are finally sitting down and talking about things. And I think that Jabari is finally telling her about Azara and saying that, look, my ex-girlfriend, she came back, like literally appeared out of nowhere. He doesn't know why she's back, but he's already told Amira a little bit about Azara. Clearly Amira doesn't care and she's handling this fine. But I don't think that Jabari is going to be telling her about that kiss because I think he wants to leave that out just because he doesn't think it's necessary because I mean, he pushed her away anyway. But they talked, I mean, Amir seemed fine about it. She still seems like she's in a good mood. They're still getting along. I think Jabari still needs to work out a few things with himself and this whole thing with Azara before he proposes to her, but hopefully he'll be proposing to her very, very soon. What are you wearing, Diana? Ooh, I did not change all of her outfits, I don't think. I'll make sure I do that later. I actually need to delete a lot of my custom content. I wanna get rid of any ones that I just like don't use anymore because I've just found all this new ones and I wanna use them, but they're all like, they take up so much space and slow down your game. But I just, I need to go through and clear out my custom content folder. So I'll definitely do that soon. But I think we're actually gonna end this here because Amira and Jabari, they got to talk. You guys got to see, of course, we have little baby Lord William is staying here. Okay, how long before you age up? I really wanna see. Oh, he's got a while guys. He still has a while before he turns into a child. So we still have some time. Um, and then I also want to check on King Henry. What's your lifespan at? Okay, all right. Um, we're getting a little bit close for King Henry. I am not prepared for this. I was like, I handled King Mahaka's okay, but I also haven't known King Mahaka since he was a child. I've known King Henry since he was a child. So it'll be a little bit different, but we'll get to see that in another few episodes. So anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. Either in the next episode or the one after that, I'll continue to do the very dramatic ones. Let me know what you guys think of Jabari and Amira and Azara and that whole situation. Definitely leave a comment about what you think below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this episode and just liked a little bit of a relaxing episode and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!